we will talk a lot more about muscle tissue when we get to the whole chapter on muscles. But I wanna at least give you an idea of what it is now since we're talking about tissues and then it will be um, review, hopefully a little bit more when we get to muscles in our book. Um, so I've shown here are the three types of muscles. So there's three categories. This up here is skeletal muscle. This is what attaches to your skeleton um, and allows your body to move like all the movements you think of with muscle. So run, walk, write, talk, um, actually breathe, um, mostly voluntary. So you're deciding to move that muscle. There are exceptions. Um, this is cardiac muscle. So muscle of the heart only, its own special muscle type. And down here, this is smooth muscle. Um, and this is an involuntary type of muscle located in your internal organs, glands, that can, um, allows for movement without you um, being really aware of it or controlling it. So all muscle contracts. That is what muscle does. Um, that's its thing, like connective tissue connects, muscle tissue contracts. Um, and it allows for movement, whether that be of the body, the skeleton, the heart, or organs and glands and kind of stuff within your body. In order to contract, all muscle tissue is also excitable. So um, excitation is going to lead to contraction. We'll talk about this more when we get to skeletal muscle, and we'll talk about the details of this um, at the neuromuscular junction with skeletal muscle. So um, again, this week, I want to go through the overview of these three types. So starting in a little more detail for now with skeletal muscle. Um, so as I said, delete that. Okay. Skeletal muscle is kind of what you first think of probably when you think of muscle. Um, it's attached to your bones um, to allow for movement. Um, also important for maintaining posture, stabilizing joints, um, and producing heat. So those are some big functions of skeletal muscle. The byproduct of ATP breakdown is heat. So keeps us warm, shivering um, is done by our skeletal muscles. So movement of the whole body is a big one. It's very general, but really like, you know, I'm talking about um, limbs, for example, posture, um, and stabilize, we'll put those together. But also stabilize joints during um, activity along with the ligaments that we'll talk about later. Um, and then produce heat. So here's an example of the muscle, the gastrocnemius um, that attaches to the bone via tendons that you saw, the connective tissue. Um, skeletal muscle is striated. So you can see these visible stripes here. Um, those are striations. Not all muscle tissue is striated. There are also multiple nuclei which within one muscle cell. Um, so here is the edge of one muscle cell. I should have to go over here because I'm going around a room. Um, muscle cell or fiber. For skeletal muscle, a muscle cell is the same thing as a fiber, a muscle fiber. And there are multiple nuclei within one muscle cell the cells have actually fused during development, and that's why they're called fibers, is because they're really long. Um, so here are multiple nuclei for one cell. And that's kind of the key features of skeletal muscle. Voluntary, primarily, um, besides reflexes, um, and if your breathing happens without thinking about it, you can influence it. Um, but most skeletal muscle is actually going to contract due to conscious control. So I'm going to put voluntary down here. That skeletal muscle, we'll learn more about it in um, several weeks. Cardiac muscle. 
um, again, heart um, located only within the heart. And cardiac muscle is, so really, it's really just contraction of the heart. So the heart, heart contraction, um, that's going to allow for blood flow throughout the entire body. Very important. This is involuntary. You can't stop your heart from beating. You can influence how fast it beats through maybe meditation or exercising, um, but you can't control that muscle directly. I don't think you can. Um, cardiac muscle is also striated. You can see those stripes. And here, this indicates right here, a single cell. So this is a muscle cell. And you can also see how they're kind of branched. Um, they branch out so that one cell contacts um, multiple others. And that's important for how this heart is gonna contract like as one unit. Um, and we won't talk about that a whole lot more this semester. But that branching, I'm just gonna write that note down here. Um, within that cell, there is one nucleus. However, the cells are linked together by tight junctions called intercalated discs. These contain gap junctions that you know about, allow near, um, neighboring cells to be physically, electrically, chemically coupled so that actually what happens when one cell gets excited and contracts, the adjacent cell does almost immediately because that type of cell signaling is really quick, right? So this is a type of, um, it uses gap junctions. Very quick, direct um, intracellular signaling. Okay, I think that's what I have for the heart, the cardiac muscle. Um, then smooth muscle is the last one here. And that is located within um, the walls of hollow organs. So for example, within um, the whole stomach, but also here it's the sphincter and then the small intestine. So let's put that walls of hollow organs. Digestion, big, um, hold the digestive tract, including your esophagus is actually muscular, a muscular tube. Um, other sphincters, so the sphincter, um, the rectum, but there are sphincters in between all your digestive, different digestive organs, um, and also some glands, a so release of like secretory um, fluids. Um, this is involuntary, right? So we, um, digestion, for example, besides the initiation of swallowing, the rest of digestion is all um, involuntary. One more exception actually is the defecation reflex. You can override um, with skeletal muscle the need to defecate. Um, so that's convenient. I'll actually talk more about that later on this semester, but there are um, smooth muscles all along the way as well. And that's why actually if babies can't control their feces is they haven't um, developed the skeletal muscle yet. It's only smooth muscle holding it in and that reflex is to defecate. Um, so smooth muscle is more spindle shaped. You can see that a little bit better at this top image here. So individual cells are kind of hard to pick out in this histology picture down here, but this would be a single cell. Um, with a single nucleus. And the thing about um, smooth muscle, one thing, one nucleus is that it is not striated. And that is not how you spell nucleus. So no striations. Um, smooth muscle is actually a little easier to distinguish between these two, but it is easy to mix up with um, dense regular connective tissue. So in, in lab, we'll work on distinguishing those. Um, that's smooth muscle. 